mini Mister began five years ago. Uh, it was seen as an opportunity for teachers to explore areas of interest and share that with students. For example, we have a science teacher who is quite passionate about history and has led many masters to Gettysburg. It's a great program for teachers to uh, really show what they're passionate about, uh, and the kids really love it. I think they uh, see us as more than just what they see every day. They can read two paragraphs in a sixth grade history book, or they can get out there and they can climb the hill. They can see the cannons. They can see the uniforms, and they can understand the, the power and the tragedy of that event in a way that they might not otherwise get. I think the benefit to being located so closely to the nation's capital allows us to touch base with not only American history, but international communities. We have several kids who have never been into some of the Smithsonian museums, uh, have never been to uh, Gettysburg or Antietam, uh, and it's just, it's just a wonderful opportunity for them to uh, explore their backyard. The Francophone DC, for example, allowed students who perhaps don't even take French in school uh, but to have an opportunity to learn about French culture at the, the French Cultural Center, um, to go to the embassy, to go to a French restaurant, and they're doing so under the guidance of a faculty member who not only teaches French, but is passionate about what she does. As a result, the boys learn more. They tap into that engagement, and they can learn more about a culture or a history that they might not otherwise have been exposed to. Sixth, seventh, and eighth graders are all working and attending these together. And that cross-grade level interaction provides boys an opportunity to learn from each other.